It's not the things inside my head that keep me going. Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it. Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me. But I believe in something bigger. Alright, what's up Active Fam? So today we're training shoulders. I got big Nate here and we're about to do a new movement. So usually when we start our shoulder workouts, we do a crucifix row. And we start with our hands out at our chest and we pull straight up. That's trying to target the back half of our medial delt. Now Nate just showed me this new variation of the movement where we're adding a little bit more of a scooping motion. Now the purpose of this exercise is basically just to create as much roundness, thickness and density from the very top of the shoulder where the muscle originates right here near your clavicle. So I'm going to demonstrate it, Nate's going to spot me and he's going to film it using this new DJI gimbal that we've got today and uh, hopefully we can get some good footage. TFM crucifix row with a slight variation. Unlike a regular crucifix row, how we start in front and we go diagonally up, hitting the rear part of the lateral head. What we're doing right now, we're starting a little lower. Instead of coming directly up on a diagonal line, we're starting with the weight lighter and we're scooping it under, targeting the origin of the rear part of the lateral head. Now, when we're doing this sort of intricate training, the reason why we're doing this is because we want those nice round caps, shoulders. And a lot of the time, the lateral head originates a little lower on people. So what we're trying to do right now is really, really target the origin of the rear part of the lateral head. All right, guys, so I'm getting a really, really, really good pump through my lateral head. It's starting to look nice and round. This is a lot different to how we usually would do it. Um, when you're doing those laterals with the dumbbells, you gotta really make sure that you kinda lean forward just a bit and then stand up and lift straight out to the sides. It's like doing a lateral but without really twisting the wrist, yeah? So keep the wrist straight, bang, straight out. Control it down, initiate the contraction before you pull up again. Think about pulling from the top of the muscle 
and then going out nice and wide. I like to reset pretty much after every rep because then it gives you that, a better mind to muscle connection. If you just join the reps here like that, you end up pulling from the bottom half of your shoulder, which is down here. We start off with the rear part of lateral head. Now we're going to go ahead and do some rear delts. Now with rear delts, we're going to do two exercises right now. A really, really heavy dumbbell upright row leaning over with a superset with the cables nice and light holding the contraction. The whole, whole idea of the exercise is to go progressively heavy with the dumbbell every single set, but keep the cable the same. You use a little bit of momentum to move the dumbbells up and down. <laughs> <laughs> you can see me smiling from <laughs> behind the camera. <laughs> Uh, with the cables, we keep, we keep the weight the same. We just hold that squeeze at the end of the contraction. All right, let's get it, bro. Rears are life. Elbows forward. <laughs> so explain. Uh, so basically, in this movement, a lot of times people do this. They, they always want to use their lats. So when people start fatiguing, I reckon nine out of ten people will do this wrong. Even when I tell them do it this particular way, they still can't get it right. Get someone to spot you or set your phone up when you're doing it. When you're rolling up at the top of the movement, your hand and your elbow needs to be in the right angle. That's the first thing, that's at the top of the contraction. And from the bottom, full stretch at the bottom, initiate from the start of every single rep. We go up and we throw our elbow forward and our thumb backwards. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is when you guys start fatiguing, you guys are gonna start using your lats to move the weight. The whole idea is to use your rear delt in conjunction with the rear part of your side delt as well as a secondary muscle. <sighs> Set this cable up a little higher than the crucifix row because we're not scooping, we're just going straight back. So from here, as soon as my hands start moving, those rear delts start contracting. On oh, squeeze. So this is a rear delt movement. This is not the crucifix row where we start a little bit lower down here and then pull up above our head. This is starting pretty much at chest height and then just pulling to shoulder height. There you go. Come on, let's go. Push through the burn, bro. You've got more. Beautiful. As I start fatiguing, my range, as you notice, will start shortening. Good. Come on. It's an isolated movement. So we're trying to isolate the muscles. So instead of use, using too many secondary muscles, we shorten the range of motion and keep the pressure on my rear delts. Socks. I feel like that's appropriate. I'm getting one for Eddie. Who's your daddy? And Eddie's getting who's your son. <laughs> Ah. 
Oh, you could do a posing routine to this. Let's see it. Show some glute. Show some glute. <laughs> Pull the shorts up. <laughs> Camera on. Camera is recording. Daylight right. saving starts on Sunday. Don't forget to put your clocks back. Exercise number three, AK Legends in Clinics, clear skin. <laughs> Exercise number three, what we're doing right now. All right, so exercise number three. All right, so exercise number three. All right. Did I say that a lot? <laughs> so, exercise number three today, we're going to be doing dumbbell. I've got, I've got to get the angle. Oh, you know my angle. Where's the one? <laughs> exercise number three today, we're going to be doing dumbbell side raises. As simple as this, picking a quite a heavy dumbbell. We're going to try and do 15 reps to failure. I'm gonna try and hit 15, that's our number to go to. Starting from the front, and just bring him right up. Elbows right up. 15 here, putting the weight down, coming over here, grabbing a 20 kilo plate. Now the reason why I'm gonna use a plate today is because in my particular routine, I don't get much ab work in uh, with my busy schedule, so doing exercises like this really help my core as well. So starting here, bringing it right up with the contraction of my anterior delts. Is that a 25? Yeah, bro. It's okay. Fun. Okay then. And uh, no right mucking eyes, about here. Bring it right up to so my eyes in between that hole. We drop set it back down to a lighter weight. We do 15 reps again, and the last super set another lighter weight, 15 reps again. That was beautiful, bro. <laughs> All right. Take 20. Supersetting it with the front raise with the plate. 15 reps. Here we go. That's three. That's four. Keep going, Nate. Five. Let's go. Let's start growing. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five to go. One. Two. I want to see. Three. Drop set, another 15 reps, lateral raises. Here we go, no resting bro, keep the intensity as high as possible. Heart rate through the roof. Sure. Go midnight, go midnight on yourself. Three, four, fuck, it's getting dark bro. It's getting really dark man. He's going dark man. We're going midnight. Beautiful. All right, last one. So now we're going a little bit lighter. 10 kilos lighter for Nath on the plate raise. Another 15 reps. Here we go, intensity. That's round one. All right, that's one set of the double drop set. We're gonna do five sets. Now you're probably thinking, fuck, that's a lot of sets, but don't forget, this is your side laterals and your front raises all in one. So you're doing the front and the side together. All right, my turn. Now, whoa. <laughs> Two, three, four. That's five, 10 more. Six, seven. Do you love me? Ah! Oh! Yeah. Oh! Mike, bro, it's really hard to concentrate when you're doing the kinky dance behind the camera, all right? <laughs> so, bro, come on, 15, let's go. We're going to do 40 kilos. Come on, baby, I'm working right now. Four. Five. Two. Someone get aggressive. Let's go, Eddie Young. Heath Roden. <laughs> I like how you're throwing the Roden in there now. <laughs> oh, <it's... laughs> oh, it's... Come on, baby. Still that intensity. Come on, you got this. You're the next Olympian. <laughs> All right, let's go. Drop set now. Do ten. Thank you. No, ten. Drop it ten. Let's go. 
All right, here we go, another 15 reps. Let's go, baby. Woo! That's one, two. This will be intensity. Come on, let's go down. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. That's ten. Come on, you got five more. One. Let's go, baby. One. Two. Come on, move this shit. Fucking move this shit. Let's go, baby. One more. All right, let's move it on. Last super set. This is going to be what? We're at 45 to 60. Oh, I don't want to move from this angle. This lighting just perfectly hit you. In daylight. Let's go, baby. Come on. I have to be a pro, Eddie Young. Oh. All right, so. Muscle words. Check it out. Nath has a new iPhone cover. This is the iPhone X. Thanks, Eddie. Check it out. Anyone who needs one, that's from the ABW store right there. Look at the red, bro. Red means money. It does, yeah. Fucking hell. Also means fast. That's a good cover. All right, so the very last part of the workout is going to be a military press in the Smith machine. So when we're doing our presses at the end of the move, at the end of the workout, sorry, it's always good to do it in something like a Smith machine because it's nice and safe, right? The bar goes straight up and down. You don't have to worry about stabilizing too much. In saying that, this allows us to go a little bit heavier than we normally would if we're going to be doing our presses at the end. So what we're going to be doing first is just 15 reps on a comfortable weight. Elbows coming underneath the bar to load the front um, portion of the delt. Then we're going to increase it and we're going to do six sets of four reps. Now after each set, we're not going to interchange. We're only going to have 15 second rest and then you're going to go straight into the next one. So you're going to go four, 15 second rest, four, 15 second rest, and you're going to do six times. Then the next person goes. This is the last bit of our workout, so we want to push some fucking weight around, and we want to grunt, we want to hear the big man scream. I'm going to go dark zone. All right, here we go. So this is the heavy part of the workout now. Next on two plates aside, and we're going to do four reps, 10 second rest, another four reps. Good, lock it. Beautiful. All right, now really control that negative, yeah? There we go, make it hard on yourself. Three, one more. Beautiful, lock it. Here we go, we're doing six sets of this. That's two down, four to go. Let's go, big boy. One, control, two, there we go. Put that pressure in the front out. Nice, that's three down. Yep, last one. Good. Four sets. Two to go. Last one. Good. All right, last set, bro. Coming up. Ten seconds rest. Everything you got. This is the mental game now. Don't let that weight beat you. Come on, let's go. Crush it, bro. Crush it. One. Two. Three. Come on, power! Beautiful. All right, that's it. Six sets of four. Done. All right, so the first round right now, Eddie's doing four reps. One, two, three, four. Up we go. Stop. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go again. All right, this is Eddie's second attempt. One, two, three. One more, baby. Four, all right, lock it out. We'll do 10 second break. One, two, three, four. Number three down, baby. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 
10. Let's go. Number four now. One. Ah. Come on, baby, you got this. Last one. Four. Where was that? Um, two more rounds. This is dark zone right now. Let's go. This is one. Two. Three. Last one. Guys, when you guys are doing this, it gets hard towards the end. Maybe you have a friend that'll try and spot you. The hardest part is flicking it back. Get a mate to help flick it back when you're exhausted. All right, here we go, last one. Oh! This is it. One. Strong, strong in the end now, come on. Everyone you guys, strong towards the end, Eddie. Ah! Don't let it beat you. One more, baby, we ain't gonna lose this. Set that was. That's it. Done. All right, guys. So that is the end of our deltoid workout. Now we're going to finish up with just two exercises of trap movements. We're going to start with a deadlift shrug in the Smith machine. I'm not going to really be pulling backwards. Um, to say to try and hit the rhomboids like we normally would do if we're doing this with a free weight I'm just going to be pulling through my traps straight up and down trying to squeeze the back part of my neck All right, so what Eddie's doing right now from the bottom of the movie in, in a strict machine with a straight bar Is from the bottom he opens his traps up a nice deep stretch Unless that muscles grow by stretching and contracting so a deep stretch and a hard contraction You can see right there from the bottom he's opening his traps right up and from the bottom of the movement from right from that point right there, bang, Eddie's traps contract. And, and that's what's pulling the weight, not the rest of his back. So again, from the bottom of the movement, guys, right here, bang, traps start engaging, hold that squeeze at the top, and you get that nice thickness through the top of your back there. See a hard contraction through here, open up, stretch through there, bang, hard contraction again. 15 reps, five sets, on to the next movement. Beautiful, bro. Oh. Alright guys, so I'm just going to update you a little bit on what I'm doing with my diet since the ICN guest posing show. So, for that show I dieted down for about one month, about four weeks, yeah? So I kind of dropped the calories down, did a little bit of cardio, the usual comp prep style thing. Wasn't obviously as intense as if I was competing. Since then I was like, yeah, alright, I got pretty shredded, now what do I do? Do I stay shredded for summer and just kind of maintain the physique that I've had for like the last three years or do I try and put on some size? So I decided, you know what, I'm going to start bulking properly. Like I've never really done a proper bulk where I've just eaten carbs with every meal. I've always tried to lean bulk, which is good. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, I love looking lean through summertime because you get to obviously show off all your hard work. So now I've decided, you know what, I'm going to start increasing my calories, e increasing my carbs and training a lot harder. So every single meal that I'm having now has carbohydrates in it. I'm having about four or five meals with... <laughs> I'm having four or five meals with rice in it. So right now I've got 250 grams of jasmine rice, um, 150 grams of kangaroo sausages, and just 100 grams of broccolini. And this is generally what I'm eating four or five times a day. I'll maybe change the meat to turkey, mince, or chicken. Usually 200 to 250 grams of white rice in each meal. So I'm having around a kilo of rice every day, plus oats. So it's a big increase, but you know what? It's been working, I've gone up in strength, I've put on a little bit more size, I'm, I'm holding a lot more fluid, I look a little bit more watery, but that's all right, you know. I'm enjoying the process, it's something different to what I'm usually used to doing. So, here we go, time to grow. Oh, we got a delivery! So I'm pretty sure this is my new Apple iPad. I don't know why they've delivered it in a box the size of an iMac, but let's open it up. Yeah. Wow, well, this is an exquisite box. All box just for this, really? That's crazy. Where else is in there? Oh, my SIM card. I'm gonna need that. Alright, so this is the new iPad Pro. 
I've got the SIM card to go with it so that I can use it when, when we're not on Wi-Fi. I've got the 10 inch one. They've got a bigger one, it's like 12 inch, but I don't know, I just wanted something a little bit more compact and I opted for the gold colored one. So let's unpack it. All right guys, so I finished setting up my iPad and I'm pretty happy with it. Like it just transferred all my apps over from my phone that I've been using. So it's even got Microsoft Word, Excel, it's got Google Chrome, um, MailChimp, all the stuff that I use basically for operating my business. It's got Skype. You can actually download Photoshop app and um, there's two different versions of it, but it actually runs really smoothly. So if you download this very same app on your mobile phone, so the iPhone X for instance, it's actually a little bit laggy when you go to apply the effects, but when you open it up on the iPad, the process is a lot better, which means it loads a lot quicker. And then I bought this thing that comes with it um, it's basically just a keyboard that attaches and it holds the iPad up so you can use it like a computer that way I can do my emails bang just click on reply and then you touch everything on the screen and then you can just start typing with the keypad and it's even got lights behind it which is pretty cool so that you can see when you're typing in the dark oh anyway <laughs> <Matt Reed. laughs>